day nice beautiful day today I think it's gonna be like 29 degrees or something and now we're pretty much ready to start putting this together but what I'm gonna do is as I was reviewing the footage and I said oh, I was gonna put it all together and weigh it and then take all the stock parts off and put the upgraded parts on and weigh it I'm thinking why don't I just weigh the parts now while they're off it that makes more sense. So I'll look at all the upgraded parts that I've got. And then I'll get all the plastic parts of those upgraded parts. Weigh them separately and really see what the, the weight difference is. Um, you wouldn't think it'd be much. I'm not thinking it's going to be much. But uh, I guess we'll see. So I'll do that now, I'll get stuff ready to, to weigh it up, and uh, we'll see how we go. Where I change of plans with this, this burgie plate. I was going to put this on that, and just sell this. I thought, yeah, I'll make some bit of money back on the turtle racing enclosed. But one of the things you got to consider when you're buying upgrades and just partial upgrades if I put that on there like that the the base of it isn't sitting around the bearing because it's this bearings bigger so there's a bit of a gap around it which I'm thinking oh yeah that's all right but then if I sell this and they try and put their plate on it, it's not going to fit. So this is pretty much, you'd think that this would be sold as a set. So I don't think I'd be putting this plate on, which is alright. You know, it's just, I was trying to get rid of the plastic around the bearing, because that's it's always a good thing. Uh, if you can get rid of the, the plastic that's around bearings, because uh, as you know, plastic bearings get really hot. And the plastics just after a while they just get soft and warp and do all sorts of things but anyway so anyway that was the idea now it's not going to go that way that's fine i'll just go back to the stockway i've wanted to do this for quite a while actually um so the list i've got is pretty much stock and upgrade i've got front and rear top plates i've got the front and rear shock supports and braces the rear skid plate, which is, it's not much, but still, you never know. This is your standard one, and this is your upgraded one for RPM. Then you've got your engine braces, your hub carriers. Now these, I don't know if I want to, if I want to put them on there or not. I'm sort of debating if I should put them on there or not. Because these feel quite heavy. But anyway, so I still got them to, to compare it anyway. And then the last one's the exhaust. All right, so let's turn it on. It's in grams. We'll put the upgraded top plate. It's uh, 194. Now the standard, 102. The front and rear shock braces or supports and it's 436 now onto the plastic 140 We'll go on to the braces now. These are like the engine braces. Upgraded ones. 
40. We've got the hub carriers. That's 385. And the lucky last, I think, I think these came stock. Well, these pipes, I'm not too sure I didn't get a stock one. That's 209. Dirty thing. Big difference. 427. Alright, so I'll add these up and uh, we'll see where we're at. Total all up. So the upgraded came up to 1.62 kilos. And the stock one 801 grams. So 801 grams, 1623 grams. So the difference is 822 grams. So it didn't really hit a kilo, but it goes to show it's a fair bit of difference, eh? Fair bit of difference. Um, by the looks of it, the biggest difference was the exhaust and these front supports. So these here, which is what you want if you want to jump your... your your Baja anyway because you, you need these because these things just um, they just flex and break um, but if you're not going to do jumps and just going to go on an open field plastic plastics good enough but uh, yeah the exhaust big difference in the exhaust when you look at that the top plates wasn't too bad because they're already alloy but so it wasn't too bad so they were a big difference uh, this was double the weight just for that skid plate the braces uh, that was nearly double as well it, pro it possibly nearly double on everything even on the hub carriers on the exhaust was nearly double uh, but those ones there were way over to the double 149 to 436 that's way over double the weight and um, the hub carriers yes same as the exhaust the exhaust was double the weight hub carriers not quite double but still so there you go I've always wanted to do that when you think about it any sort of weight gain makes a huge difference on these cars you know you can tell just by picking it up you know when it's fully when it's fully upgraded so this is just a 23 cc engine i want to actually run this and um see how it goes see i've never had a 23 cc i don't think and i want to see how it goes with that pipe and um just see how it goes be very interested to see but uh, yeah, all right. So that's the that was the little uh, comparison. These are probably the the upgrades that I would recommend if you're going to do any sort of upgrades. The next thing would possibly be an upgraded steering to either the symmetrical steering, I think it's called sim steer, or just upgraded to alloy. Um, Again, you don't really need to upgrade it to alloy. It's just this thing here that pretty much breaks or cracks. I've broken a few of those. Um, and the arms, the arms always keep, they just tend to pop off a lot. But there, there are some mods out there you can, you can do so they don't pop off. Or you just go uh, alloy arms and they're like a ball in there. Like or a fully sealed ball instead of open like this. Now I can actually put it back together and see how we go.